Hey uh, folks, this is Ernest T. Bass and uh, this is a review for your geometry test on similar figures. Okay, so here we go. The measure of the angles of triangle ABC are in the ratio of 1 to 3 to 5. Find the measure of each angle. Okay, since we don't know um, uh, the actual angles and they're in the ratio, then you let X be uh, involved with their ratio. So you set up uh, 1X plus 3X plus 5X and since triangles add up to 180, it equals 180. So go ahead and solve for x on that, you guys. You get x equals 20. And remember, that's not the answer. Then we got to plug in 20 for 1x, 20 for 3x, and 20 for 5x. And then when I do that, I get 20 degrees, 60 degrees, and 100 degrees. Okay, and these have the ratio of 1 to 3 to 5. All right. All right, what else do we have? Okay, so in the diagram, we're going to use this proportion, sr over ur equals st over vt. And then we're going to use that to find ST. Okay, so, so I don't know what SV is. I do know what VT is. So whenever I get SV, I'm going to add that to 12 because I need to get uh, ST because that's what it says, find ST. Okay, so SR is 16 plus 6 over UR, which is 6. Okay, I'm going to call this little piece X right here. And then so this is going to be X plus 12. Okay, that's what goes right here, X plus 12. So um, I just follow in here, SR over UR is 22 over 6, ST is, is X plus 12, and then VT is this 12 right over here. Go ahead and cross multiply, you guys, and when you cross multiply and distribute, uh, and I had some students ask me, can we reduce this 22 over 6? You bet. I, I should have done that. But that's okay. You could have got 11 thirds and cross multiplied with that. You get the same X value, but I'm assuming uh, most kids have a calculator by now. But next chapter, chapter 7, is the is the sine cosine tangent chapter uh, you'll ha absolutely have to have a calculator for that okay uh, anyway so x is 32 don't forget x is not the answer st is the answer so 32 plus 12 is going to get me 44 alrighty alright so here we have uh, similar quadrilaterals right here you guys it says find each so we probably want to pause it here so pause it down over here in his left hand corner okay right down there right down there okay and then the scale factor find the scale factor so I gotta find the side that matches up with this uh, CD so the side that matches up with CD is these last two letters so it's going to be the last two letters here, HJ. So it's going to be this 15 right there. All right, so um, that's going to get me my scale factor, 25 over 15. And then 5 goes into 25 five times and 15, or 5 goes into 15 three times. Okay? All right, so then we're going to use that to find the value of X. Okay, X is the value AD. So AD is first and last letter. So it's going to be equal to the first and last letter FJ. So that's going to be the 18. So I'm going to set the scale factor 5 over 3 equal to X over 18. Okay, all right, notice I got them all nice and color coded now. These guys, the red guys here are corresponding. And then cross multiply here, and we're going to get X equals uh, 30. All right, and then this one says find the perimeter of this little guy. Well, you just add up all those numbers right there, and so you get 57. And then we use that perimeter because the ratio of the perimeters, you guys, is equal to the scale factor. So since the scale factor equals 5 thirds, I'm going to let P be the perimeter of the big guy. And we know the perimeter of the small guy is 57, so we can cross multiply and find the perimeter of the big guy. Okay, so I get 95. All right. All right, so are these triangles similar? If so, tell uh, why and give a similarity statement. Okay, my students had a hard time seeing this uh, one today. Uh, so are these triangles similar? You have to do a little arithmetic to find out this uh, angle right here and or this angle. I think I found this angle. And when you find out from 180, uh, I find out that these guys, that's 25. So I got a 25 and a 60. So here's a 25 and a 60. So I got to put them in the correct order. I went from A, B, C. So ABC is going to be um, uh, the 60 to the no angle right there, which is that 95 actually, to the 25. So I got to go 60 to the 95 to the 25. So it's going to be EFD right there. You guys with me? Okay, and then by angle, angle, similarity. All right, let's try another one here. Okay, this one sure smells like side, angle, side, you guys, because those vertical angles right there. So I got to see, are these sides in proportion? And again, I had a bunch of students say no on this. So we need to check, is the small side on this triangle over the small side on this triangle equal to the big side on this triangle over the big side on that triangle. So we need to check that. If that is true, then yes, by side, angle, side, they're similar. If not, then no. 
All right, so I get eight fifths on both those, and so yes, they are by side angle side. So let's get them in the correct order. The first one I wrote PQR. So I went from P to Q to uh, R to the one side. So I went from the no arc to the one arc. Notice I put one arc. They're not congruent, you guys. It doesn't mean they're congruent. I'm just showing you that this, this side corresponds to this side. The small corresponds to the small. And this side here corresponds to this side. So I'm just letting you so, see how they correspond so we can put them in correct order. So no markings to one marking. So I got to go from, whoops, I got to go this way. Uh, no markings to one marking. So STR. Okay. Can I do that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yes, by side, angle, side. Okay. What about this one? Okay. There's no angles involved. So I want to see are all three sides in proportion. So I'm going to do small side on the left over small side on the right. Is that equal to the medium side on the left over the medium side on the right? And then is that equal to the big side on the left over the big side on the right? So we need to check that. And if it is, then yes, they're similar by side, side, side. If it's not, then no. Okay, the first two reduce to two thirds, nice and easy. But the second one, the third one doesn't. It reduces to five eighths, so they're not similar. They gotta all be uh, the same. Okay, so find the value of x in each. Okay, this one is an angle bisector. So if an angle bisector, this angle bisector uh, cuts up this opposite side into proportions with the sides next to them. So 4 over 6 equals x over 15. All right, so that's how you solve for that one, and you get uh, x equals 10 on that. Okay, let's try another one here. Okay, this one here separate. Okay, first of all, notice that these angles are congruent because they're because of the parallel lines. These guys are called corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent. Same with these ones. You could have said angle G equals angle G, and then notice you got two different triangles. You got the top triangle and the bottom triangle. So this really helps it, you guys, how to cross multiply. So I'm going to go nine over x equals three over eight. Okay, or 3 over 8 equals 9 over the x. Oh, that's the way I did it. And then cross multiply, and you get uh, 24 on that one. Okay? All right, this one. Here's another angle bisector, you guys. So angle bisectors cuts up this, this opposite side into proportions with the sides uh, of the angle. Except I need this little piece right here. So if the whole thing's 29 and that's 11, this little guy's got to be 18. Okay? So I'll put the 18 right there, and then I'm going to do... 11 over 16.5, 18 over x, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and, and cross multiply, and you get 27 on that, okay? All right, so here, you guys, um, uh, you got um, uh, three lines that are all perpendicular to the same line. And since they're all perpendicular to the same line right here, then these three lines have to be parallel. So if three parallel lines are cut by two or more transversals, they divide those transversals up proportionately. So I like to say this, lefty over righty equals lefty over righty. That will always work. You can go lefty over whole equals lefty over whole. I would do whole if, if the whole thing was x or if the whole thing was, say, 16. But since you got them in pieces, I do piece over piece, piece over piece. Okay, so cross multiply, and you get uh, you do get a, a fraction on this one. Okay, all right. So um, uh, if you are in my class, which um, a lot of you guys are, I would assign that for your homework. Take care.